in PowerPoint, you can create very powerful equations to put on your slides. I'm going to show you how to create the quadratic equation. I have it here as a guide because I would probably get it wrong if I didn't have the guide. And I'm going to start by choosing the Insert tab, and then I'm going to choose Equation. And as you can see, it puts a box here for me to type in. But what's um, most important is that you have a new tab called Equation Tools and then Design. And this is where all your tools are to create equations. So I'm going to start by typing X. And there is an equal sign here that I could use, although I could probably type it. And the next thing I need is a division sign, this long horizontal line going across the whole thing. And so here I have a fraction option, and you can see I can do different types of fractions. So I'm going to choose this one here. And then I have two boxes that I can use to type in. So I'm going to click inside the top box and type minus B. And then I need the plus or minus symbol, which is right up here. I'm just going to click it. The next thing I need is a radical. So I have my radicals here. I'm just going to choose this. Now under the radical, I need to type b squared minus 4ac. And when I first tried this, after typing b squared, I had trouble getting back out of that superscript. So I'm just going to type b here. And then I'm going to type a space and a minus sign and a space and 4ac. And then I'm going to go back and select this B here and choose script. And I want something very simple like this, a superscript. So here I have a space. I'll click this box and type the B. And then I'll type the smaller box up here and type a 2. And then I'll delete that extra B, which was just a placeholder. And you can see now I have B squared minus 4AC very nicely fitting underneath that radical. And on the bottom, all I need is 2a. And there's my equation. Now I can use the Format tab to change some of the formatting. On the Home tab, I can select the text and make it much larger if I want, which I do. So that's going to be much easier to read. And then if I want, I can change the color, make it blue. Now it turns out that all of this was useless work because on the Equation Tools Design tab, there are some standard equations. And one of them happens to be the quadratic formula. So I could have just chosen that there and inserted it. Or I could, for example, let me deselect this. I could start all over again and move that up here and choose the Pythagorean theorem here and have it all done for me. But I think this will give you an idea of the tools that you have to create complex equations and formulas in PowerPoint.